Good afternoon. We want to talk to you today about something that we think is going to be vitally important for you to think about. Every one of you probably at some time in your life have been in what you would call the flow or the flow state. Robin knows she's experienced it in tennis, but we're going to clarify it a little bit more because she never really understood how to get there or what actually occurred when she would play these effortless games where everything would go right, where she would be shocked uh, herself by the balls that she was hitting, by the way that they were falling and landing in effortless ease. And she would wonder what possibly has caused this to occur, you see. She would get done with the tennis match. She was mindless. She couldn't remember a thing. She couldn't remember being on the court. She couldn't remember thinking about anything. And she would think, how could something possibly be that effortless and that good? You see. As she was thinking about this today, uh, her and Dave have adopted a new idea. They play pickleball as partners. And as this endeavor began, there was a lot of criticism uh, between each other and often a little arguing of when they would get done with their matches, you see. And as they would play together in this state of arguing, in this disagreement state of negativity, oftentimes one telling the other what it is that they should have done or what they did wrong, their, their games would decline very badly. And it wasn't very enjoyable, you see. So Robin got the idea and she suggested to Dave, let's go to the compliment only policy. Let's not say a word when something goes not the way that we would like it to go or that if someone takes a ball that they should not take. And let's just notice and compliment when something goes well, you see. It took about two or three days for this turnaround, a big turnaround, we would tell you, to occur. And what Robin noticed right away is she went into the flow state. She started playing better than she's ever played in her life. She started hitting balls down the line without even thinking. She started lobbing uh, at just the perfect moment. She started doing this third shot drop, which everyone wants to do because it is an effective shot in the game. And everything started to fall into place. And it was the same for Dave, you see. And then she took it a little bit further. She was running it through her mind, and as she often does run something through her mind, we have a recording that comes forward or a response. And we said to her, you can have this flow state in your everyday life. How would you like to have it? Where you don't even have to think that your life just runs itself and that it goes perfectly and everything goes exactly the way that you were hoping that it would go. And she said, well, how might I achieve something like this? And we said to her, you have to stay out of that subconscious mind, out of that emotive state where all the criticisms, where all the negativity is. It's when you become unconscious and you become the human that you move out of a possibility for all possibilities, you see. Many humans think that they're running their lives, that they are the ones that are causing everything to happen or occur. And they might be trying to do a little bit of that, but they're probably having a lot of negativity or a lot of things not going the way that they want. And then they're probably having some days where maybe they are doing better and things go a little bit better, but it's never going to go great if you keep becoming unconscious. You can live in this flow state that we are talking about, in this conscious state of awareness, picking and choosing, just the way she did in that pickleball game. We're only going to compliment. You can do this in your life. I'm only going to notice things about people that I love. I'm only going to tell them what I like about them. I'm only going to tell them I like their hair, I like their outfit, I like the way that they're playing. I'm never going to mention another negative thing again because I know that I can achieve this flow state where life lives you. You don't live the life anymore. It flows in this natural, positive current stream where everything that you are desiring comes floating right to you. We're going to call this recording how to get into the flow. We think maybe that'll grab your attention. We like the idea, the analogy that we are using of this pickleball, but you can adopt this in your life. Why do you go around repeating negative news? Why would you criticize someone? Why would you decide to repeat something that is to someone's ear not pleasant to hear? If you adopt this pickleball strategy in your everyday life, you can live that wonderful feeling that you've had when you've been in the flow. Many experience it in music. Some experience it in the sports. Some will get it in their arts. And they don't know what it is. And we're telling you right now what it is. It's picking and choosing. It's deciding. What is the flow? 
Flow is the love state. Flow is high vibratory level. Flow is positivity. Flow is not criticizing, noticing what you do not like, repeating bad news for a reaction to it. This is not how you get the flow. This is how you move yourself into unconsciousness and become more and more negative and therefore produce more and more negative results. We want you to become in the flow. We want you to get this message and understand that life lives you when you do this. It becomes effortless. You will be no different than any other creature or any other being or thing. Look at your fish that swim upstream at certain times of the year. It's automatic. It's just automatic, you see. And you getting everything you want in your life can become automatic. Give it a try. We think you're going to really like living life in the flow where life lives you. Good day.